What is up, you guys? I hope you're doing well. I'm Tony Fuentes. Today's video is going to be a very quick one. I'm just going to address a question that's been appearing in my comment section lately and it's how to achieve these types of compositions, these types of compositions that famous photographers and Instagrammers do, like Sorstach, like Monaris, like Reese Class. All of them do these types of three way or four way compositions on their Instagram feed. Now, it's a very simple process, maybe very obvious to some of you, but many people are asking, so I'm going to do it. Now, there are several ways you can achieve these types of compositions. One way is to use apps like Unfold, where you can achieve these types of templates for your posts or for your Instagram stories. But normally, I just do it in my computer in Photoshop. So let's jump into it, guys. So in Photoshop, here we have these images, guys. And one of the things that you can notice from these images is that all of them are taken different situations. It's not the same shoot or the same day, but still we have the same color grading that's gonna unify them to create a blending story. Now, normally, if you want to achieve these types of composition is because you want to tell a deeper story than a single post. For example, here I have an image of myself in the border of a crater. This could be one image. Another one could be a detail image zoomed in of the compass. And another one would be a very wide one or maybe from above taken with the drone shot. That way you're telling a story using several focal lengths to your advantage guys. So a very wide one, maybe a mid one, and then a very close up shot. But for the purposes of this example, I just have the same color ring applied to all these shots. So the first thing that we want to do is just create a new file, go to file, new file, and then in the photo, we're gonna select the portrait eight by 10. Now eight by 10 is the equivalent of four by five, it's just upscaled. And 4x5, you should know this, is the maximum vertical resolution that Instagram allows you to have. So I'm just going to select the background as the black. Make sure it's in vertical and hit create. Here we have our 4x5 aspect ratio over here, guys. Next up, we have to decide how many images we're going to put into this composition. We could be go for 3, go for 4, go for 5. For that, we're going to go to view, then select new guide layout. And over here, we're going to uncheck columns. We don't want columns. We're just going to check rows and here we're going to select how many divisions we're going to have. Maybe we want four, maybe we want five, maybe we want three. Now, this is so appealing, guys. This aspect ratio is very appealing because it reminds us of the films or when you go to the cinema, everything is in a very wide aspect ratio. And it's basically telling you that this image is going to be very cinematic. So I'm just going to choose three, hit OK. I'm just going to start dragging the images. For example, I'm going to start dragging this one from my dog Emmett. I'm just going to drag it hit OK. Then with Control T, we can scale it and we can transform it. So I'm just going to scale it over here. Hit Enter when you're done. And then I'm just going to crop it, guys. Maybe you can use the masking tool, but in this case, I'm just going to crop it straight away. Select the Rectangle Selector tool. And as we can see, these are intelligent guidelines. So um, there's a stickiness to them. Just going to select over here. Right click, select Inverse, and then Backspace or Supreme to delete the other rest of the image. Next just going to do the same with the other images just drag them onto the frame over here then i'm just going to hide the guides so we can see what we're working with and there we have it guys that's our first or our initial composition here you can notice that it's a very clean cut one image just passes down to another one so this is the way you can do it another way you can do it is just to put lines on top of them so you can differentiate clearly where an image stops and when the other one starts so for that i'm going to select the line tool over here the fill i'm just going to select black and also i'm going to select black with the stroke now the height i'm going to go maybe with a 20 and then i'm just going to drag it over here in the middle of these two images with shift we can make sure that everything is completely horizontal. Obviously place this shape above everything, hit enter. And then I'm just going to drag it with Alt on our keyboard, press down to the other point over here. And there we have it. Basically, we have these types of black bars that separate the images. Now, if they're a bit too wide for your taste, guys, just select the shape tool once again. And here in the height, I'm just going to select 20 to make it a bit smaller. So this one as well, 20. And then again, just remember to recenter them in the middle of your images. There we have it, guys. So that's how I achieve these types of compositions within Photoshop. I also use the apps. It's a very simple manner as well. But also, guys, just remember that keep in mind the color grading part. Each of these images must blend in together. So the color grading must be similar or the same. And also just change it up a bit to tell a better story. Use a wide angle, then a zoomed angle, then a very cropped in angle to tell a different story with your pose. 
So that's about it, guys. I hope you liked the video. Can you please give it a like? It really makes a difference. And consider subscribing. Share it with a friend if you think someone may be interested in this type of content. Subscribe and help me grow this channel as well. I'm Tony Fuentes. Cheers to all of you. See you in the next one.